Hello, my name is Dan Casas and I'm going to present our work teaching 3D computer animation to non-programming experts. The motivation for this work is to address the problem that many students in bachelor and master degrees suffer when they study computer animation course in a computer graphics degrees. So what usually happens is that the students uh, are enrolled into a um, degree that has a computer animation course. And this computer animation course, it has um, tasks and assignments that require programming. So what usually happens is that these, these computer animation lectures are being taught at the same time or even before the students got strong programming skills. So then uh, they are assigned a set of tasks that they cannot easily address because they don't have the necessary programming skills developed, right? So then students can potentially get uh, sad and a bit depressed because they cannot efficiently address the task that they are assigned because they usually get stuck into programming problems instead of concepts related to computer animation, for example. So the, uh, a good way to address this would be to first teach them how to do programming and then once they know how to program, then ask them to do the anim uh, computer animation assignments so then they know how to write basic code. However, this is not the case. Usually they, they face computer animation at the same time that they are being taught how to program. So in order to uh, ease the, um, the uh, understanding of the computer assignments, what we propose is a course based on the MATLAB programming language, which basically requires minimum programming skills. That means that the students are going to be able to ad uh, address the task and assignments that are within the computer animation course that actually will make them uh, understand better the uh, fundamental ideas in computer animation without worrying too much about programming. Uh, as I said, our approach is based on MATLAB, which is a scripting-based numerical, numerical computing framework. And there's many advantages that uh, MATLAB uh, brings uh, in front uh, versus other more traditional uh, computer imaging frameworks would be like OpenGL and related. So MATLAB is no uh, object-oriented, so you don't need to study uh, um, complex object-oriented uh, programming uh, tasks. And there is no need for manual setup of the 3D environment. Like usually students spend a lot of time on just setting up their OpenGL scenario, the virtual camera, etc., etc. With MATLAB, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, MATLAB provides some off-the-shelf plotting capabilities and capabilities to draw to canvas. So with just a single line, you can very quickly draw stuff. Uh, it also has some easy graphic interface that you can implement. You can put add buttons and sliders, etc. And it also provides with an interactive shell where you can very easily debug your code interactively. Uh, edit your code, etc. It is also very efficient to handle mat matrix multiplications and it's actually very useful algebra courses. So if students are doing algebra courses at the same time, they will probably know MATLAB already. Uh, another huge advantage is that MATLAB doesn't require any manual memory management. So then you don't need to worry about allocate memory or free memory. And in general, we show that with MATLAB it's good MATLAB can be good for images, meshes, animations, etc. So the course is structured for a three credits course, which is split in 12 sessions of two hours each. And the um, syllabus or the content of the course is split into three topics, interpolation, image animation, and character animation. So in the following of the, my talk, I'm going to give you some examples of the tasks that we propose and why they are uh, uh, easy to address with minimal programming skills. Uh, the course is available in a GitHub repository and the solutions are going to be available open request by the uh, teacher or instructor. Okay, so let's see, for example, uh, how we can do interpolation, which is a, a fundamental concept in, 
in computer innovation, and this particular case in Lagrange interpolation. So in the paper, you can find um, for each of these blocks a very brief introduction. So for example, here highlighted in green, we have a brief introduction to Lagrange interpolation, which is basically a method to find a polynomial function that passes through a set of points uh, with the lowest degree possible. And basically to implement it, you need to know this equation here, which uses some sort of uh, uh, basis functions that are found with this other uh, formula here. So basically students can have a quick look into this um, brief summary. If they want, they can get um, a deeper understanding using uh, references that we cite. And then basically after this uh, brief introduction, we propose a task in which the students will implement uh, Lagrange interpolation. In this case, it's a task in which we ask them to find a Lagrange polynomial that passes through a set of points. So this is how the uh, task looks like. So we provide with a starting code. All our code is self-contained, so it doesn't depend on external libraries or anything like that. And it already does something, so students can very quickly play with it. So in this example, uh, we provide uh, starting code that uh, creates the grid and plots the points from which we want the functions to pass through. And then basically students need to start from this function and then develop these uh, different bits that are missing in order to find the polynomial, the Lagrangian polynomial that passes through these uh, functions. Uh, this is the solution for this particular task. And in green, I have highlighted the, the code that the students need to write. So you can see that in, it's just a bunch of uh, multiplications and arithmetic operations that do not require uh, um, deep knowledge of any um, coding semantics or anything like that. So it's quite straightforward to understand. And basically, with just a little bit of code, students can find this uh, Lagrange interpolation polynomial, which in this case is this uh, dashed uh, black line that passes through the functions. Uh, in, the, in color lines, in orange, red, purple, and blue, we have the, the Lagrange basis functions that are the ones that first needs to be implemented in order to find the final polynomial. So as you can see, uh, students very, very quickly can uh, write simple code to and visualize their results. Uh, more related into animation, I'm going to now describe uh, a task that is about image warping and morphing. Uh, again, we have some brief introduction about what is this about. In this case, we, we also provide some um, uh, pseudocode about uh, the main algorithm to implement uh, forward warping in this case. And we also provide some summary of the underlying maths that are required. And then for this problem, we also ask, uh, we have a small task. And this task is a task about warping one image towards another one. Uh, to warp images, and this is described in the text, you first need to define some key, key points in these images. So key points are usually defined with uh, clicking into the image. And we actually provide an interface also on MATLAB to do this. So basically, when uh, students uh, start this uh, task, uh, they automatically uh, get this interface, which is basically a pointer that allows you to click onto the uh, key points. And then using these key points, you can solve the uh, image morphing and warping problem. So here with these key uh, points, basically they are defining um, uh, sort of mesh for this image. And th this is already provided for, for them. And then having this uh, triangula tri triangulated version of the images, they can implement the pseudocode that will warp the orange into the uh, green. So this is the code that we provide them. And we comment the parts that they need to implement. And this is basically the task that they need to do. And this is the solution for this task. So again, this is just a bunch of assignments, uh, matrix accesses, and uh, multiplications to implement the basic functionality for uh, image deformation, in this case, image uh, warping and morphing. So using this thing, they don't need to worry about loading images, writing images in a specific formats, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
they can very quickly start to uh, deforming images. And then as a result, they get these nice uh, um, uh, image animations where one triangle is morphed into the other. So going into a little bit more complex, they can get also animations of faces uh, warping one into the other. And again, they didn't worry about loading the images or anything like that. So getting a bit more complex, we also have inverse kinematics. So again, we have a brief introduction about inverse kinematics. We propose a task. And we also provide the uh, pseudocode for these tasks. And then basically, uh, they get a starting code in which uh, you see an um, uh, initial kinematic chain. And then using the pseudocode, they, they can very quickly implement uh, inverse kinematic problem as the one you see here, where they, we have a kinematic chain that quickly uh, reaches a point um, and again, this is only using basic matrix multiplications and algebra operations directly on MATLAB. Uh, they can do also this in 3D. Here you have this example in 3D. And we provide a starting code also for the 3D case. Uh, we evaluated our method and we see that our students are generally happy. They, um, they think that the course helps them to better understand the uh, concepts related to uh, computer animation because they do not get stuck into programming problems that prevent them to focus on, on computer animation concepts. All the code is available on this repository. And thank you for listening. <laughs>